Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up? Big Herc 916, getting down with Fresh Out, Prison Talk. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the channel. Go to FreshOutSeries.com, pick you up some merch, represent. Oh man. I had seen this story before and meant to report it to you guys previously, but um, it popped up, so I had to share it with you guys. It, it's disgusting, man. Georgia inmate allegedly eaten alive by bugs, died by homicide. Autopsy reveals. Attorney for LaShawn Thompson, an inmate at Fulton County Jail in Georgia, allegedly eaten alive by bugs in a cell last year, have released details of his autopsy results. Forensic pathologist Dr. Roger Mitchell listed Thompson's cause of death as complications due to severe neglect and major contributing causes as untreated schizophrenia, dehydration, malnourishment, and severe body insect infestation. God, man, bugs eating them alive in the in the jail? What type of this is this is crazy, man. In this day and age, what type of jail is that? Who would put another human being in a jail like that? Thompson's manner of death was homicide, Mitchell found. These autopsy findings confirm that LaShawn was killed by extreme neglect of Fulton County Jail and his staff. Ben Crump, a civil rights attorney representing Thompson's family in a lawsuit against the jail, said in Monday statement ahead of press conference, he was dehydrated, malnourished, and his body was infested inside and out with insects. It is truly one of the most horrific cases we have seen. Crump added that the jail staff inaction, cruelty, and humanity killed Thompson. Thompson 35 was awaiting trial for a June 2022 misdemeanor, simple battery charge. Attorney Michael Harper of the Harper Law Firm who was representing Thompson's family told Fox News Digital in April. This dude went to jail for a misdemeanor, man, and got eaten up by bugs, man. Damn, man, that's some sick shit, man. These people, man. Jail officials placed Thompson in the psychiatric wing after determining he had schizophrenia. Harper said he shared several extremely graphic photos of Thompson and the filth he allegedly died in at the detention facility. Three months after his placement in the psychiatric wing, Jailfisher discovered Thompson rotting away. God, eating by bugs in a filthy jail cell. Three months? How could they let him sit in there for three months? Who? How they? they I mean, they got you go by, you do checks every couple. Of, I mean, man. Oh. Public records obtained by Harper's Law office apparently show that detention officers and medical staff at the jail noticed Thompson's deterioration, including an infection from bed bugs and lice on his torso while he was still alive but did nothing to aid him. There were plans to transfer him to another unit of the jail that never came to fruition when they eventually found Thompson dead in the cell Harper alleged. The Fulton County Jail in Georgia announced in April that it was transferring more than 600 inmates and releasing an emergency 500,000 expenditure to to address overcrowding issues after Thompson's death made national news. Now you want to do something. It's too late. The man is dead now. It's too late. Quote, it's no secret that the dilapidated and rapidly eroding conditions of the current facility make it incredibly difficult to meet the goal of providing a safe, clean, well-maintained, and healthy environment for all inmates and staff, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt said in a statement at the time, without making Explicit statements about Mr. Thompson's health, it's fair to say that this is one of many cases that illustrate the desperate need for expanded and better mental health services. Wow, man. Woo! God, man. 
simple battery charge turned into murder. Man, you gotta you gotta look out for your loved ones out there. You gotta you gotta watch out for those with mental illness, and we gotta pay better attention to those with mental illness. And I can tell you firsthand, I've seen a lot of guys in prison who have mental illness issues. It's a big thing in prison. A lot of guys in there, they uh, they're not all there, man. They're not all there, and you know they get to prison, they get three square meals. And they appear to look healthy, but mentally they're not healthy. So, um, sad situation, man. Hope his family gets justice. And uh, if you have a family member you haven't heard from in jail, check on them, especially if it's somebody with mental illness and have somebody go down there, if possibly an attorney, to make sure they're okay. Big Herc 916. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com.